do something just a little different. I have always enjoyed the what's in my bag, what's in, what tech do you carry, what gear do you carry, uh, and as a scientist, maybe I have a unique angle. Maybe you're wondering what kind of gear does an astronomer carry in their, in their bag every day. Let me show you. Now there's a whole genre of videos on YouTube about what's in my bag and what kind of gear do you carry. I, I'm not sure I'm going to do it total justice, but, uh, but I'll give you an honest census of what's in my bag and, and my review of some of the gear that I carry. This is literally my bag as I brought it to work today with everything except for the camera kit, uh, which of course, right, except for the, the camera, which is filming. This is what we call a mirror in 2018 and, and right, so that's the camera. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm carrying uh, a new iPhone 8 with a scratch in the screen and a bunch of uh, lint in the charging port, probably from my pocket. It's fine, you know, it's a phone. All right, my actual backpack currently uh, is a Timbuktu bag. I carried around a Timbuktu shoulder bag for a long time and I really liked it. I liked the shoulder bag, but uh, carrying a bag on one shoulder with a lot of gear in it uh, makes my back hurt. Uh, I guess I'm old. I need a backpack so that my back doesn't hurt on long, on long trips. Okay, gotta have a water bottle, uh, and I put I put a sticker on it so that we know it belongs here at Dirac, here at UW. In the tiny little front pouch, uh, all I have in here is just a USB drive, a thumb drive. Uh, I can't say that I'm a huge fan of the USB-C ports because all my stuff is still USB, uh, but this drive, which I got on Amazon, and I'll put a link to, I think it's really cool, both USB-C and traditional USB on it, so. and it has some good fidget spinner qualities. And in this main pouch in the front, uh, I keep my work keys. I keep my work and my home keys separate, uh, you know, just to like physically separate my work and my home life. I also keep my work and my home keys separate. In the front big pocket, um, let's see, I got some pens. I'm super picky about my pens uh, and the brand that I've been using for a long time uh, is the Zebra F F301s. Uh, right now I have two blue ones in here. Usually I carry a blue and a black. Okay, I keep, uh, Keep a thing of business cards, the pen for my iPad. Now this uh, this is the old pen. I think they released a new one. The uh, the little clip that I have on here is actually for a space pen. Uh, this actually fits perfectly. It's super nice to have a clip so this thing doesn't fall out of your pocket as easily. Fingernail clippers because you know personal grooming and also it's a tool. You can like break through tape and sometimes it's nice to have a sharp thing. Uh, and uh, this is a a toy from when my kid was an infant uh, and uh, I keep it. You know, like for sentimental reasons. Uh, here is a very short uh, iPhone cord. This is good because I'm also like discovering where everything is in my bag. I keep two pairs of headphones with me. I keep uh, the regular iPhone headphones because they just fit my ears really well. I know not everybody likes them. Uh, and then I've got a pair of the uh, wireless, the cheap wireless Beats headphones. This is a terrible sounding pair of headphones. My review of these, uh, I think these sound 100% better. For comparison, uh, in my office, I use some Sony studio headphones. These are the MDR V6s uh, that I got. I think you can get them on sale on Amazon for under 100 bucks usually. These things sound awesome. Okay, and the last thing that's in this front pocket, um, right now, today I've got my, this is my external hard drive that all my video editing stuff has been going on lately. Uh, and the last thing in here is a cable pouch. Um, right now I've got, uh, I've got iPad and iPhone cables in here. Uh, and then I've got uh, this great, very cheap uh, HDMI, VGA, DVI, USB-C. As an astronomer, I'm constantly giving talks and nobody has the right dongle. Okay, in the first main pocket, uh, there's not too much in here. The camera, my tri my Gorillapod, my camera, and my microphone usually get shoved in here. So right now I've got another cable pouch. I got this one free at the AAS meeting this last year. Uh, you can go check out my AAS vlogs where I was picking up free swag. This is the very. This is all I carry besides the camera with the one lens, the Gorillapod, and the microphone. I carry an ND filter, a 77 millimeter neutral density filter, two extra batteries for the camera. Um, I keep my card reader, which I also have, has a USB uh, C to USB adapter, which I bought. This is like 10 bucks on Amazon. One random wipe that I can wipe my screen or my lens with, uh, and one AA battery, which is the backup battery for my microphone. So I really value lightweight, compact, uh, and so I try to keep my camera gear to one lens, one camera setup, uh, and very little accessories needed to function. And the other thing I have in this first big pocket uh, is my iPad. This is the 10-inch iPad Pro. This thing 
is shockingly useful. And here's why. You can take notes on it, which I do. You can annotate PDFs and documents, which I do a ton of. My kid can watch movies when we're flying or traveling, which is worth its weight in gold. And most importantly, I cannot program on this. Like I can open up Slack, I can open up email. I mean, I guess there are like apps that I could download that are like code editors, but I have this uh, as bare bones as possible so that I can just use this to write. Even though it's not quite a full size keyboard, this little keyboard is big enough and has a good enough feel uh, that I think this actually would be a really functional computer. And if I was in college today, I might just get this. If I just restrict, just restrict myself to this environment of working on this machine, this little machine, uh, I can be more productive because I can do less. And less is more when it comes to productivity. Uh, and then the last pocket on my bag <clears throat> is my laptop. I used to never put stickers on my laptop. This is the first generation 13 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar. This is far and away the absolute worst Apple computer that I have ever purchased. It, it has been more unreliable and buggy uh, than any other Apple desktop or portable computer. It's the first generation of this model line and I came off of a 13 inch MacBook Air as my main travel laptop. And that thing's in its like 100th generation. It's still going. In fact, I gave it to a student recently and now she's using it. Uh, for her research project. That's a great computer. This thing, I will retire the minute that the warranty expires. That's my honest review. I mean, like the keyboard, the keys are, they get stuck really easily. The touch bar is, like, I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know, I, I don't know what to think about the touch bar. The battery life is terrible. I like the big pad, the big trackpad is nice. I love Touch ID. I think this is a great idea. The display is, is beautiful. And that's really it. I don't carry much in my bag. I generally don't carry a laptop charger. I bought an extra one, so I have one sitting on my desk in my office, and I have one at home. Pretty compact bag. I can shove it under any seat in an airplane as long as it's not too full. I've even done some, like, overnight, one-night trips in just this bag. Besides a water bottle, sometimes instead I'll carry my Zojirushi coffee mug. For me, portability is key. Uh, compactness, lightweight, uh, and simplicity is key. The more time I spend thinking about my gear, like the less I get done. I'm very easily distracted. So I need things to be like clean and simple and reliable. So there you go. That is what's in my bag. That is how a professional astronomer uh, does science. Thanks for watching.